question 11. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Lauren is risking her father's secrets for a chance at $25,000. Would you sell your parents' secrets for money? Assuming, of course, that they are still your people. Yeah, would you? How about their kidneys? Welcome back to Cringe Against Humanity. I'm Mr. Black, and this channel is all about things that make us cringe. And I think we can all agree that many reality shows do just that. But what about game shows, and why do we tend to overlook them when we think of cringe? I mean, there's a lot that someone will do for money, and the game show we're talking about today exposes the cringiness behind just how far someone will go to ruin their life and the lives of the ones they claim to love in exchange for 15 minutes of fame and $500,000. Let's begin, shall we? Shall we? Welcome to a special Monday night edition of the Moment of Truth. This episode was so controversial, it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would not air. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television, asking these questions and listening to the answers that were given. But in the end, it was decided that this episode should air. I will tell you, however, that the truth is often not pretty. So here it is. This is the moment of truth. This little goof nugget's name is Mark L. Wahlberg. I'm not kidding. Mark Wahlberg is his name. And in 2008, Mark began hosting an American game show called The Moment of Truth. Now, the premise of the game was simple. Before the show starts, a contestant is given a lie detector test that's centered around 50 to 100 questions. Do you understand? Yes. Later, without knowing the results of that test, the contestant is then asked 21 of those same questions again on film in front of a live studio audience while some of the contestant's family members or friends sit nearby on a special sofa waiting with bated breath. What could possibly go wrong? What could go wrong? Everything. So there are six tiers to the game, and each tier has a different amount of questions, with tier one having six, and tier six having just one question. If the answer is given by the contestant and a tier match the result of the polygraph, the contestant wins the money associated with that tier. But if the contestant's loved ones feel the question is too much or the truth just simply shouldn't be revealed, they have a button. This is the button. But they can only use that button one time, and when they do, the contestant doesn't have to answer that specific question. No more adventures. The contestant can stop the game at any time and collect their earnings. But if they get a question wrong, they go home with nothing. Oh dear, nothing left. A total of $500,000 is up for grabs, but as you'll see, lives are at stake and cringe is at an all-time high. This couldn't ring more true than what viewers witnessed on episode 5 of season 1 when Lauren and Frank Clary, wife and husband, were participants on The Moment of Truth. Well, let's meet our first participant. Lauren Cleary is a 26-year-old hair salon assistant from Piermont, New York. She is the oldest of three children. She is married to a New York City police officer. She was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Lauren Cleary, this is your moment of truth. This isn't the moment of truth. This is who wants to be a miserable billionaire. You'll see, and we'll soon see how long those enthusiastic Yay, Lauren! claps last once they figure out who she actually is. Good. You ready? Yeah. So nice to have you here, Lauren. Nice to be here. How are you feeling right now? Great, I'm pumped. I guess that would be a good thing to be. I know you're probably a little nervous. Do you think you're gonna be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? I hope so. I hope so too. Lauren, as you know, there are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the question you get, and the more money you can win. This really is a mock-up of who wants to be a millionaire, but set in hell. I mean, if the devil himself ever had a hand in making a game show, this is it. This game makes no sense. You can quit at any time, Lauren. Take the money. But once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. And remember, if you're caught lying even one time, you lose everything and the game is over. Got it. Lauren, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, you brought family and friends to support you as well. Let's meet him right now. Who's here? I'm Frank Lauren's husband. Frank looks nothing like a cop and everything like Seth Rogen's illegitimate child. Hello, Frank. Hi, I'm Jay, uh, Lauren's father. I'm Kim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. Now I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. Welcome to all of you. I'm glad to have you here. 
You know that these questions range from sometimes the silly to the very personal. Are you ready for this? Sure. Ready. I'm ready. Okay, I hope that you are. Lauren, are you ready? I'm ready. I am too. Let's begin. Okay, Lauren, we start with level one, and it has six questions. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully. You win $10,000, and that's a good start, isn't it? Got it. Yes. Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them if you want tonight. Okay? What do you do for a living? I am an assistant manager at the salon. Question one. What's up with that fucking doom bell sound? I mean, I thought The Undertaker was about to make an entrance. Hit the black hit it. Oh, The Undertaker! It's like this isn't the WB, this is the WWE. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when in fact you did? Well, no, I have never. That answer is true. Wow. Well, obviously. She's never lied about that because she probably did that hairdo herself and she's hardly gonna dislike her own work. And anyone else notice how the AI voice sounds like it's announcing the purge? True. Weapons of class four and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. So far, so good. That's one truthful answer. One. Five more, <laughs> $10,000. What do you like to do for fun, Lauren? Wiffle ball. Imagine she said that or kickball. I'm pretty much, I don't, I don't know everything and anything. I'm, I'm up for anything. Question two. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? <laughs> Absolutely not. There would have to be something in it for Lauren, and laughs just don't cut it. Frank, you think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. <laughs> I've flashed strangers, so I'm sure she's flashed strangers. <laughs> so I think, uh, yeah, I think she That has. wouldn't surprise you, huh? Not at all. No. What the hell has Frank been flashing? Are we sure he's a cop? Frank, police. Well, let's go to you. It's your moment of truth. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? I'm going to have to say yes, Mark. Mm -hmm. I have. <laughs> Here comes Lauren's sister with that smell the fart acting. She taught me all about, you know, how to work with the cameras and smell the fart acting. That answer is... True. That's too truthful. Four more to $10,000. I understand you used to work as a veterinary assistant? Yes. You like animals? Love animals. I guess that would be important there, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Lauren, you used to work as a vet's assistant. You like animals? Oh, yeah. Dong. Until I killed them all. Question three. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to a dog rather than a homeless person. So your answer would be yes? Yes. That's, that's that smart. That answer is true. I saw a lot of people giving off about this answer specifically, and honestly, I can kind of understand where Lauren's coming from. I mean, no shade on homeless people. It'd be a horrible situation to be in, and I'm not judging the whole group, but living in a big city, I gotta say, I've seen more street addicts attack people than stray dogs. Who is at the door? Stray dog. And you let him in. Actually, I offered to buy a homeless guy pizza once in Nashville, but refused to give him the money for it. Like, I would go with him and pay for it, but he wasn't happy. As a matter of fact, he wanted to stab me. No stray dogs have ever wanted to stab me over a pizza. Three more $10,000, and one of the things I find so interesting about this program is that you'll answer something like that, and invariably the audience will applaud. That's right, don't give food to homeless, give it to the dog. They just look at you with the cute puppy faces, they and seem... then you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like, hmm. No, that, that's not what I was going for, Lauren. <laughs> Somehow I don't feel myself. better now that you've cleared it up there, Lauren. <laughs> got your brother and your sister here. Are you too close to Lauren? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lauren, you would say you're close to your brother and sister? Not as close as I would like us to be, but Aww. we're close. That's cute. <laughs> Question four. Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? <laughs> yeah, how close you guys really are. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> um, 
Yes, I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> that answer is I that. true. What a psycho. Seems like sister knew the answer to that question already. She knows it, but she won't admit it. Crucial answers, two more, $10,000. Family and friends, we're thrilled that you're here, but you're not just here to listen because as we've already seen, the questions can have things to do with you. You do have a little bit of control. You see that button in front of you there. Yeah. If at any time you hear a question, you don't want to hear the answer, hit the button, we'll take that question out, replace it with a new question. You can only use it once though, okay? Yes. You want to try it once, Frank? Why not? And that sound signifies another death in the family. Yay, Lauren! <laughs> Two more questions, you get $10,000, Lauren. So far, the questions have been fun, but not too hard. Not too hard. Did you say you're a trustworthy person? I think so. Yeah? Yes. People can count on you? I think so. Question five. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? Well... Okay. <laughs> Are you waiting for them to hit the button? No, 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 not waiting at all. You're um, okay with this? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I've come to terms with the accepting okay. this. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired from job. Would you look at the sheer disappointment on Mama Bear's face? I mean, her daughter's got her grill all twisted up into a Martha Stewart. Hooray. Good God, we're only getting started. That answer is true. Why the hell are they clapping? What's wrong with them? Everything. I mean, she got fired for stealing. That's not an applaudable moment. Jesus. Thanks for clapping along, guys. I can feel the cringe temp rising ever so slightly the further we go. One more truthful question, $10,000. Want to tell me about the time that you got fired? I don't particularly like to talk about it. So what's in the past is in the past. So I like to, I've moved on a completely different person now, so. I don't like to talk about my past. I've moved on and I'm here now playing truth or dare to tell the truth. What the f Our past is the past, okay? Lauren Cleary, this is your $10,000 moment of truth. Question six. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Oh my goodness. Kind of um, tricky to answer given what you've just shared, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much, because it will kind of contradict itself. <laughs> uh, I am going to have to say, no, I would not. That answer is... True. Look at that face. I want you to remember this gimpy face for later. This face should be a meme. You've made it through the first level. You have $10,000. That is your money to keep, Lauren, if you walk away right now. If you don't walk away, it's at risk every time I ask a new question. To get to the top of level two, you'll win $25,000. You have to answer five questions to get there. But you can stop at any time. Do you want to go on? What do you guys think? <laughs> All the way. And now look at this face and remember what he just said because this face is about to change forever. Let's go. And we shall go on. Would you consider yourself more of a morning person or a night owl? Uh, definitely a night owl. So you like definitely. to stay up late? Yes, I yeah. hate waking up early in the morning. It. <laughs> Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? What do you think the answer is? <laughs> yes. Better answer. We'll see. <laughs> so, all right. Well, the question's on you, Lauren. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that answer is true.
And there's the beginning of the change for Frank, as he realizes the answer to that question stung. And he also realizes that that was just question 7 of 21. There are 14 to go, and they're clearly rising in complexity the whole way. So buckle up, Frank. You might want to buckle up. Seven truthful answers on your way to the next level, $25,000. Congratulations. You have a lot of friends? Um, used to. Not so much anymore. You have a lot of friends? Used to. Not anymore. Dong! They all died when I stole from them. Question eight. Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? Yes, I do. That answer is true. Now, she blames him for not having any friends, but remember, blaming someone else doesn't mean that they're the problem. You're not wrong. Three more, I give you $25,000, but each time you risk your $10,000, that's gotta be tough to move with your husband to a new place and leave all of your friends. It is, it's very difficult. How do you guys deal with that? Take each day as it comes, right? Yeah, each day as it comes. I'm getting there. How long you two been married? Two years. You're really starting out. Yeah. Would you say your family is very supportive of you? I think so. Dong. Wrong. They hate you for stealing from them. Question nine. Would you ever be a surrogate mother for your sister if she were unable to have children? Um, yes, I would be. That answer is... True. Wow. That's your ninth truthful answer. You know, this is a tough question because that's, that's sort of like, would you donate an organ or something like that? And, and the answer that we're accustomed to say is the right answer, which is, sure, I would do that but would you truly do that? And she just proved that she truly would do that for you. It's really nice. I've never heard of that from her mouth before. <laughs> She's shocked her sister would say or do something nice for her. And I think Lauren's shocked too. I mean, hell, maybe she beat the test on this one. Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? We've had this discussion. Do you think your parents are proud of you? Yes or no? No, I don't think my parents are proud of me. That answer is... True. As sad as this sounds, you definitely don't need to awe over this moment right now. Lauren doesn't deserve your consideration, and I don't want to leave you with sympathy regret later. Also, those crocodile tears aren't fooling anyone except maybe Frank. When we lost Frank. Mom and Dad, are you proud of her? She doesn't have anything to make me proud of her. I love her unconditionally. Okay, here's where we are. You've answered 10 questions truthfully. If you can answer question 11 truthfully, you've won $25,000 and the right to keep going all the way up to half a million dollars. <laughs> Given how emotional you feel right now and how difficult this is already, there's no shame in walking out of here with $10,000, even with only one question left. So, Lauren, this really is a moment of truth for you. Are we going to stop now or do you want this question Go, 11? Go, Lauren. You're doing great. I don't want the question. Go. Got it. Lauren, this is your $25,000 moment of truth. Question 11. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Ah, look, you don't need to risk the sanctity of your family and the secrets of your loved ones for clout or money. And TV shows like this serve one purpose, exploiting you for views. No TV show is gonna hand you thousands of dollars unless they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars. When you go on game shows like this, make no mistake, you are gambling. And in this case, gambling with the lives of the ones you allegedly care about. Lauren is risking her father's secrets 
for a chance at $25,000. Would you sell your parents' secrets for money? Assuming, of course, that they are still your people. Yeah, would you? How about their kidneys? If you answered yes, come on down and let's play Who Wants to Be a Miserabillionaire? <laughs> Yes, I do. That answer is... True. Yeah. I thought he was about to Hulk smash his daughter into oblivion to make sure his secrets die with her. But no, a hug and a kiss for airing out the family's dirty laundry live on television. And maybe that's a front. And he's really whispering into Lauren's ear, You helped me hide the body, you little bitch. Meanwhile, mom's inner dialogue is screaming, What the f*** did you do? What a lovely little family moment. I'm confused and I'm worried. Just won $25,000. How does that feel? Go good. Lauren's got $25,000 in the bag, and mom's still wondering about those secrets. We know the secrets of the fire swamp. $25,000 is yours. Yeah. We will talk about what you do next in our game, but I'm interested to know why you ran out of your seat and hugged her. Is it that she won the money or that she's keeping the secret? Look at fake Mark Wahlberg here instigating. Well, Dad, you want to tell us what you're hiding from your Martha Stewart-faced wife? What'd you do, huh? How old was she? Jesus, these shows, there's no lowest level. The pit of stooping to is bottomless with these clowns. Low levels? <laughs> I'm already in trouble. I don't know. Both. I don't know. A little bit of both. We'll huh? talk later. I didn't think he was going to come over here and hug me. <laughs> Like Mom's face, right there. That says it all. Dad's fucked. He's done. I get the feeling that this is something you guys are going to discuss without us. Oh. I think she wants to know. <laughs> yeah, <I think> so. <laughs> Anything you want to say, Mom? We'll talk later. <laughs> you have $25,000. That much we know is true. <laughs> Lauren, these questions that have hit so close to home that they've had you teary, are not even close to as personal as they're gonna get. I know. The next level is four questions. If you can be truthful through those four questions, you will win $100,000. But, if you lie, you lose the $25,000 you've already earned. So my question is, what are you gonna do? Do you wanna continue or are we gonna stop here? Stay with us. We'll be back with more in a moment of truth. For those of you just joining us, we're about to continue with Lauren Cleary in her attempt to win $500,000. As I said before, this is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. Quite honestly, if I had had my vote, it would not have aired. But since the decision was made to broadcast it, I want to warn you that what you're about to see it's very difficult to watch. Oh, yeah, right. Mark doesn't give a fish stick about any of that. He's just hyping up what's to come. As if the show's producers are actually going to let him come out and say he wouldn't have aired this episode if he had his way. To be fair, they probably wrote this little cutscene themselves for fuck's sake. But honestly, there is no amount of hyping up that can match the sheer discomfort of what we're about to see on this terrible show. I can't believe this family. Welcome back to the Moment of Truth. I'm here with Lauren Cleary. Her husband, Frank, of two years, mom and dad, brother and sister, everybody is here. Relatively intact at this point. <laughs> is that fair to say? Yeah. You have $25,000, Lauren. Before the break, Lauren, I asked you, is that enough money, $25,000, or do you want to risk it to go on? And I promised you that these questions would get more personal. They were already very personal, far more personal than half the people watching the show would even endure. And I'm looking at this next tier, not later on, right now. It's going to get deep. You want to continue? Well, to be honest, I am really not concerned about the money. I just I feel a lot better getting this, everything I need to get off my chest. So. Okay. Let me stop it right there. It's not about the money, she says. While she's on a game show, 
about winning money. If money wasn't the objective here, she could have went on Dr. Phil, or better yet, how about just counseling or hell, even a priest. Both of those will let you pay them to help you help yourself feel better about being a shitty person if it's truly not about the money. But side note here, after everything that's about to transpire, Lauren Cleary tries to play it off in the news as though it was strictly about the money. So stop talking smack, Lauren. You're literally selling your soul and little by little, pieces of the hearts of those close to you. Okay. A few days ago, I sold my soul to the devil. See what that means? We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. Okay. How's the communication between you and your husband, Frank? Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, Frank? Yeah, yeah. Question 12. Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? Uh, okay. What do you think, Frank? I think I want to hear her answer. Uh, the answer is no. That answer is... True. Well, me and Frank are surprised. I'll tell you that much. You've got a big surprise coming to you. That's 12 fruitful. That one scared me. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> scared you, Frank? <laughs> a little bit. I got, I got confidence in her, though. You so have confidence. I trust her. Yeah. You have $25,000. You're three questions away from $100,000 and you said the money is really not the object. Think about the people, not just you, but think about the people who will hear your truth tonight. What do you want to do? Do you want question 13? Well, they may not like the answer, but I think they'll eventually appreciate it. So, I won number 13, lucky number 13. <laughs> I hope so for you. No, he doesn't. Mark is hoping for a complete disaster because without it, he loses his job. <laughs> Lauren, I know that you've moved recently and you don't have as many friends as you used to have, but do you occasionally like the girls' night out? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. it's important to have those nights, it right? Is. Question 13. Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? <laughs> That's a good one. That. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ticker. Right there. I tried to warn you. No, it's okay. Um, yes, I have. God, Frank, this is the point in which you get up, you take what's left of your heart, walk out, and file for divorce. If a husband or wife removes their wedding ring for the purpose of appearing single to other people, there's nothing else to say. It's over. They don't want to be married, and you need to run while you still can, my friend. I knew he would run away from you. That answer is... Oh, boy. True. That's 13 truthful now. answers. So I congratulate you on you being truthful. Two more to $100,000, but that is a truthful answer that um, I can't even spin to be a good answer. Frank, how do you feel about that? Maybe I'm sure she has her reasons. I'll we'll find out later. The reason is clear, Frank. What excuse could she possibly give you? I was being robbed and the robber told me he'll let me live if I find a way to look more single. Mamma mia. No, it's over. I don't know if I have the stomach for the rest of these questions. <laughs> You're making it worse on us. <laughs> I'm being as honest as I know how to be. Uh, I look at the question, I don't know you guys before we meet here, and this is a doozy. The host here is making me rethink a little. Maybe Mark is genuinely concerned because this face is not really a face you can just make up. This is the expression of a human stop sign, pre-car crash, and Lauren ain't hitting the brakes. Got no parachute, he's got no brakes. 
Stop me before I ask the question if you don't want to answer it. No, Lauren. Hit the button if you don't want to hear the answer. So uh, I'll just ask you this before we get into the question. Did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon? <laughs> it was nice. Frank? Yeah, you had a good time. You enjoyed yourself. Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Oh, man. Yes, I believe I was. is true. Good Lord. Poor Frank. I mean, this is horrible. The whole family's in awe here. Everyone's in shock except maybe dad with his secrets that mom's still thinking about. Okay, can you just tell me your secret? Well, that's 14 truthful answers. One more, you win $100,000, but I'm sure I'm not the only one watching this program wondering if that $100,000 is worth it given what we're doing. Oh, I get it now. The host realizes Lauren is a cold-hearted bitch. And if he doesn't do something quick, the show is going to have to pay out half a million to her because unlike her husband, she's taken no prisoners. Take no prisoners! But it's your world, your relationship, your choices. Frank, were you aware that she had those feelings on your wedding day? Uh, no. I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex boyfriends and everybody does. I didn't know that she might have been in love with him. Lauren, one more question to get you $100,000. Unless you tell me to stop. I can't talk you into stopping, can I? <laughs> no, I'm ready for number 15. I um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm going to give it to you. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. He can't. He really can't. And you, my friend, you're making it worse. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. And this question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest... Oh, my God. Lauren, can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? I, I can't speak right now, so... This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. Wait, what? That, Frank? That's her ex-boyfriend, Frank? But her current husband is Frank, too? She, she's a serial Frank dater. Frank has a question for you. <clears throat> and I hope this $100,000, if you win it, is worth this question. If you don't want the answer, you still have the button. I don't need to remind you. This question. Oh, stop it, Dad. He's just trying to save some face. He knows he's getting kicked out after this and he needs a place to stay. Or he's afraid Frank's on his trail about that body. You know, it's too much about things. Question is for $100,000 when you're ready. Question. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? I warned you this show was fucked. <laughs> Hold on. That question is a devastating question. Of course. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. No? So Sister rushes in and saves the day with the button. This is like a golden buzzer for Lauren, and she's happy she gets to skip this answer. Now, if Lauren was smart, she'd take the hundred grand, go home, invest ten of it into marriage counseling, and call it a day. Because so far, maybe she can salvage their relationship, and the only one in real trouble here is Dad. 
because you know Mommy Martha never knew it, Stuart. Ain't letting those secrets slide. She was asking so many questions. <laughs> a sec. Audience, I know that this is entertaining to watch, but this is real. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone will want to hear that answer. Okay. Look at Frank's face. It will never be recognizable again outside of starring alongside of Elizabeth Banks and Katherine Hickel. Heichel, Heichel, whatever the fuck it is. Frank not only wants to hear that answer, but he'd literally go against his cop code to kill for that answer, and he'd gladly hold Lauren's sister underwater until she gave it to him. As a matter of fact, think about it. That's likely why Lauren's sister hit the button, because she probably already knew the answer to that question. She knows. I have, I have a question to replace that with. Before I do that, my question to you, Lauren, is, did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question is going to be any easier. So hitting that button doesn't even let you pass the tier question. They just replace it with another one that's clearly just as devastating, if not worse, than the one you passed. This show will do anything to not have to pay you out the money. This is just like a game of chicken where Lauren and the moment of truth have to see who will swerve first. But they've underestimated Lauren, who will gladly use a member of her own family as a human shield before risking that money. She has zero shame. Somebody prepared to sacrifice everything. Here's another question that your ex-boyfriend Frank will ask. And bam, wasted buzzer use. Buzzer, button, serves no purpose. Useless. Because they're still gonna f*** you with a question. So, I've given Frank an alternate question. It replaces the one that Monica stopped. If you are truthful, it'll be worth $100,000. And I hope, Warren, that that is a, a gamble that's worth it for you. So, ex-boyfriend Frank. Once again, question 15. <clears throat> Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Well, <laughs> wow. Um, um, I want to be honest and say yes. Is true. And finally, I understand the funeral bell sounds. It's a reminder that someone is dying inside. Oh, I'm gussied up, but dead inside. I'm not sure what to say. You've answered 15 questions truthfully. You've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear, so might as well just go for it. Have you guys talked about this ex-boyfriend at all? Yeah, earlier on in our marriage, but I mean, I didn't know he was still an issue. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're, you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Sometimes. Sometimes. So Frank's answering truthfully. He's just not getting paid for it like his lying little Frank finder over here. I'm going to find you. Warren, what do we do here? This is, a. Uh... Warren, what else is there? You know what I mean? Just go for it. This is a little bigger than the game right now. So you have $100,000, okay? You leave here with $100,000 right now, and you go home with your husband, Frank, and you have to now figure out where you two are. I would tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What else is there to really tell me? What? Yeah. 
What else is there for her to tell you? There are six questions left, Frank, increasing in intensity with each one. If you think this show blew its load on question 15 of 21, you are sadly mistaken, my friend. Then again, your marriage is over. So get the truth out, split the money, and then split up. But there is more. We certainly aren't going to keep you here. If you've had enough, you can take $100,000 and leave. And, but questions? Frank makes a very good point. After this bomb that's been dropped, what else is there? You know, I don't. You know the questions. What else is there? So what do you want to do? You want to leave with $100,000 or three more questions get you $200,000? Three more questions. Three more. Line. 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 We're going. You got this point. The hard Tell questions, you can go now. All the rest you only need three easy. questions to win two hundred thousand dollars, but as you know, you only have to mess up once to lose everything. Mom, what do you say for her to do? I say, Mom take it, always, leave it now. Know, I know. Mom would say that. I I'm gonna keep on going hmm. because. I will let you know that the questions I've already asked you, a couple of them, are way over my line. This one's further than that. No. You probably know what's coming next. I think so. And you want it anyway. Question 16. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? This is insane. This just became the Steve Wilco show. This is madness. I wish the button was still there. Yeah, telling me. I'm gonna have to say yes. Even Darkwing Dad over here is disappointed in Lauren. Meanwhile, hubby, Frank number two, will never live this down. And I bet the person Lauren cheated on her husband with was her ex-boyfriend, the first Frank. And now, throughout her whole marriage to the second Frank, she's been calling him the wrong name, but also the right name at the same time? This is Frankception, and it's full of deception. Frank Clary, you are so much better than little loser Lauren Liar over here. She's not even that good looking. Dude, you're a great looking guy, and there are women out there that would adore your little baby face, and if you just pop that thing in your uniform, you'd be the one in the handcuffs. Kinky. Kinky. <laughs> that answer is... True. Okay, Lauren. Two more gets you $200,000. But be careful, one mistake, you lose it all. Are you feeling like you should go for it now? Yes. Okay. Question 17. Do you think you're a good person? Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. That answer is... It's true. It's true. False. Just like that, you've been bamboozled. After exposing herself to the world, stirring trouble between her parents, and ripping out her husband's heart live on television for money, Lauren proves that she's able to tell the truth about everything except how she really feels about herself. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to blind narcissism. Even the promise of $200,000 fails to erase Lauren's denial of what she really is inside. She's not a bad person, she's a terrible human being, and her face laughing right here says it all. Lauren, I am so, so sorry. Why do you think this came up? 
as a lie for you and I ask you if you think you're a good person. Because even after everything that I have done, stealing the money and everything, I think that I've become a better person. That's why I think I am a good person. Even after stealing the money? What? Are you kidding? Frank wishes you simply stole money from him right now. That's the least of your faults, you birthday caked face little child. Yet it came up as a lie, which means that somewhere in you, you haven't forgiven yourself. And you, somewhere, your truth is that you don't think you're a good person at all. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family? And I thank you very much, Lauren, for being on the show. Well, now that you lost all that money and ruined the lives of your loved ones, why don't you go hang out with them for a bit while we move on to the next victim? Now, who's next? I wish you the best. Look at Lauren pretending to cry while her family coddles her. No tears were shed in the making of this episode. At least not Lauren's. I mean, my God, she's heartless. She humiliated her husband the most, and it's clear he had no idea who he was married to. But that's not surprising considering they got married after only eight months. That was a stupid thing to do, Frank. And I'm talking from experience. Mr. Black Pasta story time. In 2005, when I was 21, I got married to a woman I'd only known for two and a half months. I did so against the better judgment of everyone I knew. It isn't too late. Don't do it. And guess what? We were broken up by Christmas, and it was a complete nightmare. Well, Merry Christmas. The best advice I can give anyone is to make sure you reserve marriage and having kids for someone you truly love and know. It's the safest way to do things. You should probably live with someone for like three years first before making these kinds of decisions. I mean, it can work but probably like 4% of the time only. So, so there is a chance. If you're in a real relationship that's going to last forever, what's the rush to chain yourself to someone legally, whether by marriage or child? Simply put, just get to know the people you think you're in love with before you make big decisions with them that have big consequences. And if they're rushing you into big steps that you're not comfortable with, you might want to rethink things. Will you marry me? No! No! People can hide behind a mask for a long time, and even if you take all the precautions necessary, you still might get screwed over. <laughs> Love is worth being smart about from the start because heartbreak, while it will heal, it won't leave without a piece of you. Give it back! And never go on national TV to expose your relationship for some stupid game show to exploit you for money. Do you think the moment of truth got Frank and Lauren counseling after this complete disaster? No, of course not. They wiped their brow and went, Woo, she nearly had us. Thankfully, Frank got to see Lauren for who she really is and filed for divorce shortly after the show. Apparently, Frank said later that he knew Lauren was cheating on him and that they'd already talked about everything that came to light on the show. But to me, it seems like Frank was still just trying to protect her at the time because this is not the face of a guy who knew. He didn't know the bottom line. Lauren admitted she did the show for money and apparently claimed she would have used some of the money for a boob job, so yay. She also said she didn't regret going on the show because she learned something from it, and I imagine that something was that she's not a good person. A Colombian version of the Moment of Truth was later launched, but was taken off the air after a contestant admitted to paying for a hitman to kill her husband. So there's that. Basically, all these shows from this one to American Idol are there to make money, and they're going to exploit you for that in the entertainment of others, so just don't go on them. Also, you might want to stay away from gold-digging Lawrence. Project Pat said it best in 2001 when he said, Don't save her, she don't want to be saved. And last but not least, let me be frank and say, never let yourself be frank. I'm Mr. Black, and this is the Disturb... Cringe Against Humanity.